Hey, Zuderug here, coming out with another video review. And today, as you can see, I'll be taking a look at Voyager Class Soundwave from War for Cybertron Siege. Or, to give it its full title, Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Siege. That is absurd. But here he is in his... Spaceship mode? Space brick mode? Yeah, space brick mode. Size compared to a soda can. Kind of standard for a flying Voyager thingy. As I bang the cable around. His colors are sound wave. Dark blue, yellow, black, light gray, a little bit of silver, some red, a little bit of gold, a sort of odd, like, violet in a couple spots, a gunmetal gray, and the usual siege smudging. Because, of course, he has to have that. And he does have landing skids instead of landing gear, so he just sort of sits there. <laughs> of course, he does have accessories. He has this gun. It's just a gun. Of course, it has the 5mm post, so you can plug it in, you know, up here, or here, or really anywhere that there's a 5mm port. But where you're supposed to put it is over here. There is a slot, and there is a tab right there. Let's see if I can get this to actually... That tab just goes into that slot there, and that sits there. And he has both of his guns, his common guns, the round missile launcher, which you can just plug into one of the ports here on the uh, shoulder, on the uh, boosters. I usually put it on this one. Just sort of sits there like that. And the other one, which if you push this in, you can pull this out. And you get his usual sonic cannon thing. But for this, but for this mode, it's just supposed to be collapsed up. And you can go ahead and plug it into there. There he is with all of his weapons equipped. Honestly, this is one of the few times where having the weapons equipped looks completely natural for the vehicle mode, I believe. It doesn't look out of place. Although that could be because he is already a flying brick. That's probably the reason. He is also, oddly, a triple changer. I know. His first mode... If I can get this out of here. Tabs in very securely, by the way. Let's go ahead and get the weapons off. His first mode is, it is an official mode, however you really only see it if you look at a specific part of the directions or, or not the directions, on the inside of the box, or if you use a black light on the outside of the box, and that is his sort of lamppost spy mode thing? It's complicated. But to get to that from here is fairly straightforward. Go ahead and take this bottom part and it tabs in here and here. Go ahead and split that. It also plugs in to this spot here with that post on both sides. Just bring them out to the side like that. Take this entire section and it tabs in here and under here with these tabs. I'm just swinging around on this Double hinge. Get this panel up enough to take this and swing that down like that. 
take the boosters and fold them in so that these slots go into those tabs right there. Bring this up and this tab will go into that slot on both sides. This stays in place. Take these landing skids and point them straight up. And then bend the arm at this joint, which can be a little tough. And there are tabs right here that will go into these little notches in the arms. Go ahead and bring that around. And again, if I can get it in shot, just have it in. Take these panels and flip them down. Split the legs, rotate them forward. Bring these panels out. Fold out the feet. Fold this panel in. Collapse that back down. Out, flip, fold, collapse. Just sort of get everything angled so that it's pointing down. And there you have Soundwave in his I still don't know what to call it. Lamp post mode? I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and just continue from here to robot mode, because we're almost there anyway. Legs just stay as they are. Bring the arms back straight. Take these landing skids and sit them flush against the arm. Bring the arms down. Flip out the hands and rotate the forearms so that the elbows are oriented properly. Just like that. Take these and just flip them against the back. Take this on this double hinge and then bring it down so that it's away from the, bo from the body. And take this panel in here and bring this down. And you can go ahead and flip the head out. And then fold this back and this panel will go into that slot on the neck. Bring this double hinge all the way down. And this tab will just sit in there. It'll just sit relatively flat against the back. And there you have Voyager class Siege Soundwave in his robot mode. Here is his size compared to a soda can. Standard for a Voyager. Colors are the same as before because he didn't really change that much. Medium blue, silver, gold, a little bit of purple, tiny bit of lilac, gunmetal gray, uh, some translucent yellow, tiny bit of red, and then the usual siege smudging. But thankfully he doesn't have too much. View from above and below. His posability is pretty good. I mean, it is a siege figure. His head's on a ball joint, so it can go side to side, up that far, down that far, all the way around. Arms can go out to the side that far. All the way around the shoulder. Pivot just below the shoulder. Bend at two joints in the elbow for a full elbow bend. Nothing at the wrist, sadly. The waist can swivel freely. The front skirts are on hinges. Legs can move forward that far back that far, out to the side that far, swivel just above the knee, bend about 90 degrees at the knee. The feet can move back and forth just a hair. You have a decent ankle tilt, but no, you know, foot swivel. And I forgot to mention this for the vehicle mode, but it does work there. If you press this button on his shoulder, his tape deck opens. And there's quite a bit of detail in there. Really? Uh, anyway, 
And you can just take any of the tapes or shields or whatever you call them for Siege or Earthrise. Just open this up, drop it in there, close it up, and there you have him with one of his little buddies in there. Now we'll talk about this guy next week. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. One thing I want to point out is Soundwave has some amazing light piping. I mean, that's how much light it lets in. And if you, like, shine a light on that, it will practically glow. The light piping on him is absolutely incredible. And of course, he does have his accessories, like before. He's got his shoulder cannon, which this post is a different part because you can actually extend it a bit and tilt it up and down. So you can have it maneuver on his shoulder. Just go ahead and plug that in there. You know, it can swivel because it's a, you know, a post. And you can also tilt it and have it sort of point up in the air, which is pretty neat. You've got his main cannon. Go ahead and push this in, pull this out. And you've got his famous cannon thing. You can just go ahead and stick it in his hand. And there you go. And of course he does still have this extra gun, which you can just, you know, stick in his hand if you want. One thing I like about this figure is, and with pretty much all the Siege figures, is he has ports on his back, so you can store at least two of his weapons on his back, which I always think is wonderful. And you also have an extra feature with the weapons. Go ahead and take this out of his hand. Get this off his shoulder. Take the little pistol. Flip the barrel back. Take the shoulder cannon and plug the post at the back into the barrel of the pistol. Make sure it's all lined up. Take this gun and make sure it's in this mode. And then plug the other end of the pistol into there. And you get this really long, I don't know, sniper weapon? Staff? Something? You can just stick it in his hand. He's got a very big gun. And if you finagle everything right, you can have him hold it in two hands. It'd be nice if he could turn his wrists, but it's not a deal breaker. Oh, and you may have noticed that his left hand is molded a little differently because you can actually take it and get it to push his shoulder button. Which is pretty neat. So, a pretty simple figure overall, but... I quite like it. Definitely, at least as far as I'm concerned, it's the best version of Soundway we've gotten in a while. I think the absolute best design is the uh, original War for Cybertron design. But I quite like this one too. So that's been my review of Voyager Class Soundwave from War for Cybertron Siege. Until next time. Bye-bye.